So we have a problem to solve. We need a new bed. So we're gonna take this problem and we're gonna make an English lesson about it. So you're gonna learn some new vocabulary, new phrases while we're on the streets of New York City going furniture shopping. There's so many different kinds of beds. So we're looking for a king. That's the biggest. Queen is the next, then full, then twin. Now there's also something called a California king, which is also really big, but the dimensions are kind of different. But today we're looking for a king bed. David. Yes. Are you thinking wood, metal, upholstered, leather? Like what material are you thinking about? Well, I'm thinking more about upholstered, which is unusual for me. But... Mm. So like what kind of fabric? You know I love velvet. I yeah. love a good velvet. Yeah, no, I'm in that, I'm in that zone too. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was just thinking about the word metal. Like the material is sort of a tricky pronunciation. That's a flat T and then a dark L. And it sounds just like this word metal, which is a verb and it means to get into and to get busy with someone else's business, things that don't concern you. Like I could say, stop meddling in my life. You do not need to know the details of my life. Stop meddling, metal, metal. All right, we're crossing Houston. In New York City, the street is pronounced Houston, but in Texas, same spelling, big city is Houston. Now we're, we're heading there to the building with green spikes on top. We're heading to the Crate and Barrel. To head somewhere means to go in that direction. That is your destination. We're heading to the Crate and Barrel. Let's head on in. Yeah, it's up there. And beds are upstairs. Beds are upstairs. Yeah. Thank you. Now, we are making a side stop at the espresso machine spot because I decided it's what I want for my birthday. The question is, do you go with the big one that does lots of things or a small one that's simple and just does one thing well? Hard to decide. Way too big, right, David? Yep. Okay. I think we need to head over here. In this video, you're gonna hear me use the phrase, head on in, head over, and head upstairs. Now you said you didn't love the looks of it. Seeing it in person, what do you think? Not crazy about it. Not crazy about it. Shoot, well then I guess we're starting from scratch, because that's what I had narrowed it down to. All right, well let's head upstairs. This one, a little too bold for our taste. So you probably know bold the font. If something is bold like in style or color, it's making a big statement. It's pretty different. This bed is a little too bold for us. What do you think? I don't like how chunky that is. Too bulky? Yeah. This one less chunky, less bold, more subtle than the metal one. I kind of like the warmth of the wood color. What do you think? You were thinking upholstered. This is not upholstered. Do you no, like but I it? like that. So this is a maybe. Yep. I do kind of like the ones that have more of a platform feel where this comes out a few inches. Although they're sort of a pain in the butt to make. It's a maybe. We may choose it in the end. Any bed that is a no is one we're definitely going to eliminate. And when we finally find the one we like, that's the one and the only one that will be a yes. Upholstered has a bit of a whiter frame to it. Because of that flap T, the word whiter sounds just like this word to call something more white, whiter. Looks like they have various fabrics we could choose from. Let's look. This one does have different swatches available. So you think this is the right one? I do, yeah. All right, I'm open to it. I can't say yes in the moment, but I'm open to it. Thank you. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 
in addition to a bed, we are looking for a mattress. How does it feel, David? We'll come back in an hour to get you. Good. I think it would match the style of the nightstand. Excuse me. Yeah. Does this come with other, are there other, um, yeah. Yeah. Can I see the swatches? They would be at the design plan. Okay. Thank you. Anytime. It's also nice. It's also got the metal leg that I think is a nice feature. Soft. What do you think of the color? I'm not crazy about that color. Okay. Not crazy about it. But you're crazy about the boucle? Yeah. Boucle, just like velvet, is a kind of fabric. We already know we don't want all wood, right? I think that's true. Okay. All right, so it's sort of between those two boucle ones. What? Now you're looking at it and you're, you're, you're Maybe. wavering. That looks sort of like the style of what the vanity is going to be in the bathroom. Yeah, but how is this going to look next to white wood nightstands? I don't want to get new nightstands. That's true. I mean, I love the dresser. I love the nightstands, but they're not what we have. Right. Good point. <laughs> the only thing with going with not the white is then it's custom made and you can't return it. Oh. And you know we like to be wishy-washy. Let's just go look at that one more time and then pull up the one we saw at Crate and Barrel and just sort of compare the two. Pull up is a phrasal verb that we use many ways. We do use it often to refer to a screen. I'm going to pull this up on my computer. I'm going to pull it up on my phone. All right, let me pull up the other one like I did here. You can also pull up your socks. Oh, my socks are slipping. I'm going to pull them up. But also a car will pull up if it comes to the curb. Is your car here yet? Yeah, the Lyft driver is pulling up right now. The headboard here has a bit of a curve to it, which you kind of like. I think that adds something, yeah. The, the Lotus, though, does have a seam around the top, which is also sort of a detail that... Yeah, I like that. It is interesting. I'm going to ask this guy. Naturally, we wanted to see the bed we were considering next to the nightstands we already have. Don't worry, I asked. They said I could move it. All right, let's see. I can totally do it. I can totally do it. Okay, I think I'm going to need some help. I mean, it looks fine. It turns out that king size didn't come with the boucle fabric we wanted, so we had to talk to a consultant and work out other fabric options. The problem is, it doesn't come in the fabric we want for a king, so we're comparing these two fabrics. The other issue is David likes this one better, and I like the one at Crate and Barrel better. So we have a few things to figure out. Come around the front, babe. Check it out. With the long view, which one do you like better? Yeah, me too. It's more warmth than that. Yeah. Okay, let me get the long view. Honestly, it might look a little bit better than the white boucle, in my opinion, anyway. All right, let's drape this over. That looks kind of nice. Like, you know, the metal and the leg. There's almost a bronzy feel to this. Yeah, I thought the same thing. It yeah. nods to the leg. Well, let's take a sample of this home. Make sure it works with the carpet and the chaise. Did we solve the problem? Not entirely, but we got closer. We have a much better idea of what we're going to get. It was a day well spent. Thanks for spending it with me. Keep learning going out with this video and don't forget to subscribe with notifications to keep learning English.